Hi, I'm Chef Stevie and welcome to A Fresh Take. Today we're going to redo chocolate mousse. So avocados, they're really healthy, they're full of good fats, it's good for your brain, your skin, I just can't say enough about them, but you might get tired of guacamole, right? So I have a chocolate mousse recipe that's going to help you get those good fats in, help you have an indulgent dessert without feeling guilty about it, and it's really easy. So I am going to cut up some avocados and put them in my food processor, um, usually about two or three depending on their size. You want to make sure that they're really ripe. You want to make sure they're soft because you want them to blend up evenly. So you'll just cut open your avocado and scoop out the flesh into the food processor. And then, wash this off. I'm going to add some cocoa powder. I like dark chocolate cocoa powder. Dark chocolate has lots of antioxidants. It's very healthy. So it's better to add a little less because depending on the size of your avocados or how many you put in there will be how much chocolate you like to put. Also, how dark do you like it? Do you like it really dark like me? So put in a little bit, blend it up, taste it, see if you need to add a bit more. I'm going to add some agave nectar for sweetener. You could use honey, coconut nectar, coconut sugar. Coconut sugar might be a little grainy, so liquid sweetener would really be better. And just put some of that in there. You could also throw a, a really ripe banana in here instead. And just a little bit of vanilla extract. And then just blend it up in your food processor. You want to scrape the sides down every so often, make sure it's going to blend right. Kind of chop up and mash your avocado with your spoon to help it along a bit. And then just give it a little bit of a taste just so you can see if you've got enough sweetener, enough cocoa powder. And that's fine for me. So I'm just going to spoon it out into a dessert dish. You can eat it just like this, like chocolate mousse, or you can freeze it and it tastes like a really good fudge sickle. I'm just going to put a little bit of cacao nibs on top for some crunch and some mint leaves for a garnish. If this was in the summer, you could add some fresh berries to it or any other fruit that you want. And there you have some healthy antioxidant omega-3 chocolate mousse. Mm, who doesn't love chocolate, right? So if you want the recipe for this delicious avocado chocolate mousse, go to chefstevie.com or look me up on Facebook and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me on a fresh take.